Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us at JK Firearms. I am Jay bringing another very unique and exciting video here that we got for you. As you're going to see in the title and you, what you see before me, the Sentry Arms VSKA 762x39AK47 right here. So before we get into this guy, start talking about it, breaking it down, showing you what it looks like. Let's go ahead and thank all of our subscribers on the YouTube channel, as I always like to do, showing my appreciation for joining us on our channel and following us along and subscribing. We couldn't do it without you. Our channel is growing exponentially. Last time I checked, we were at 979 subscribers. That is 21 away from 1,000 for us, and I never imagined in my life that I would even be close to a thousand subscribers when I started this channel. And I'm not about trying to gain all the subscribers and have millions of them, but hey, we do appreciate every, each and every one of you following us along, letting us get the product out to you, talking about the product that we get in stock and we are growing every day. So thank you so very much for supporting us and our channel. And if you're new to our channel, thank you for joining us, following us along. And if you would, please click that subscription button below. It doesn't cost you a dime and it helps our channel and shows your support for the Second Amendment, not only on the YouTube platform, but also in the Second Amendment community that we need so very much right now. So thank you again. We couldn't do it without you. Now let's go ahead and talk about this guy. This is the Sentry Arms VSKA AK-47, or they call it the Visca. All right, so you're gonna notice a lot of different things about this guy compared to your a typical AR platform. First, the stock. Most of the stocks on ARs are adjustable, whereas AKs, they're wood furniture, or sometimes you may see them plastic or even a uh, metal stock on them that flips up and down, folds to the side. You, you will see those, but your typical AK-47 is gonna have some wood furniture, the grips, the hand grips, the hand guards, your buttstock, everything there, and it is non-adjustable on the AK platform. So that is gonna be one major difference. Some other major differences here is these guys are very heavy. This guy here is a 16 and a half inch barrel with 35.25 inches overall length. And what you get with length is what you get. You don't get to adjust it. You kind of got to work to it instead of having it work with you. So again, being able to put it up, you only got one length there, right? So you're not able to adjust your stock like you are on your AR platforms. That's maybe a downfall for some, but there, we're gonna go ahead and do a safety check first. We'll pop out our 30 round standard magazine. Again, standard 30 round magazine is completely empty. And we'll go ahead and check the chamber. Free and clear as this guy is brand new, should not have any rounds in it, but we do our safety checks anyways. Always treat a weapon as if it's loaded by doing your safety checks. All right. So it's unloaded, able to toy around with this guy to kind of check it out. Like I said, 16 inch barrel, 35 inches overall length, and eight pounds, so a lot heavier than your typical ARs, also a lot heavier, just because of the wood furniture, the, it's got a stamped receiver, milled trunnion with it. It's full steel compared to some of your ARs, you know, which are uh, polymers on some of them, you know, uh, forged steel, whatever it may be, aluminum. Uh, things like that. So much heavier on the AKs. Also, the AKs here, we'll zoom in. As I said, you're going to see stamped receiver, milled trunnion there, everything there. They do have the stampings on them. It's also open sights, right? Open sights, you, for most AKs, you're not going to have a scope or a red dot on them. Don't get me wrong, you, I've seen people with them and you can do it and modify them to it. But for the most part, you're going to just have your open sights here, adjustable sights there. And adjustable and your sight right up front on your muzzle right so that's what you're pretty much getting for your sights now like i said i've seen some crazy people putting some scopes on them some red dots you can modify them i'm not into that realm of modifying these guys yet i like the natural look of the ak-47 so that's what we're getting right there all right so also what we're going to see here is with your magazine your magazine is has a slight curvature to a banana clip as they call it and everything and that's because the rounds are a lot larger so they have to, to fit 30 women they have to kind of curve it a little bit more and to put a magazine in is you're typically you're gonna rock it in front to back and it locks in whereas your AR platform you can go straight up under there and it has a mag release this guy does not have a button for mag release this one here is gonna be a little lever right there you push on this guy and it pops right out right and there's your magazine so you got that now, like I said, this guy overall length, 35 inches. When you're ready, you do have the manual safety right here. So you're not gonna have a little lever or anything like that. You got this. If we push this guy up, we're on safe. When we push down, we're on fire. It does say S or F for that also. 
All right, so if we cock it back, ready to go, and we'll pull the trigger. Nice and smooth trigger on the AKs. I do like the triggers. They're a little bit clunkier, or you may hear a little bit more metal clanging around in there. And again, because again, it's a lot different than your AR platforms where you're able to easily adjustable, modify the triggers, modify anything at all on these guys. These guys, pretty much what you see is what you get. You can modify a little bit here and there, but for the most part, they are not really as modifiable as your AR platform. All right, again, that is the Century Arms VSKA, the Visca 762 by 39 Now, when you're looking at your ammunition, your ammunition is going to be a little bit more spendier also on your 762 by 39 compared to your 5.56 or your 223s there. But again, your 762 by 39 is right there. And we're going to get a close up picture. And then your AR, which is either your 5.56 or your 223 right there, a little bit longer on the AR platform and a little bit skinnier, right? Compared to your 762 by 39. This one's a neck down cartridge also, but a little bit wider there and a little bit shorter. So, Again, we'll get a close-up of those guys. We do have ammunition in stock. We have these guys in stock. You can follow us along, jkfirearm.com. Check it out. We have these guys. We have much, much more on our website also. If you also have any questions, by all means, reach out to us, jkfirearmsales at gmail.com, or give us a call in office. We'll be happy to answer anything for you. Again, as always, we love that you guys join us. We love that you guys follow us. Pass us along to your friends and family. We couldn't do it without you. And we are very appreciative of all you guys. So thank you again from the bottom of our hearts. As always, stay safe, fire down range, and we will see you soon.